Hello and welcome, I'm KMC and this is how to build the Paw Patrol uh, HQ uh, Interior decoration of the HQ room um, I'm pretty impressed with it to be honest It turned out, like I say in one of the other videos it, You never know quite how you, it's gonna turn out until you finish <laughs> Uh, actually, I think it's turned out pretty well. I haven't done the carpet. I totally forgot about the telescope end coming out of the ceiling. Um, I will address that in the next episode. Um, the reason I haven't done the carpet is because we've still got to put in the slide. And the slide is going to take up a bit of room. I'm actually now thinking and toying with the idea of putting stairs down to it. Um, because what I'll basically do is take part of the room but it does mean I'm going to take three blocks wide um, and three in height now what I'll do is I'll put it in the floor um, take it down into the next floor uh, I think I'm going to use stairs um, going down into it and then I'm going to walk across so you'll be walking in the tunnel to where it would then drop you out the side of the blue the blue level, uh, the dark blue level um, as it would in the actual Paw Patrol itself and then I'm gonna it is gonna take me a little time to work on it before I release it for you guys um, because I've then got to work it out so that it drops just under the sign if it's possibly gonna work that way if not, we're going to have to reroute it elsewhere. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take up too much room, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Um, yeah, just to keep it as accurate as possible. Um, I've still got to work an entrance into this room. Um, which is, you know, it's, we get there, it will work. It's... You know, it's just uh, time consuming. Uh, it's got to be done. But uh, yeah, overall, pretty impressed with this build. It's going a lot better than uh, at points I thought it was going to. Um, considering we had limited space in the lobby, this room is making up for it. So there's one below it. Um, you'll, you'll see as we go through the episode that. Um, I actually do stairs for the, the room underneath, uh, or going into that room. I might do the same for this, this room. Um, we see that we use a uh, ladder. But I got bored of ladders on the first two levels. And thought, you know what, stairs would be nice. Um, let me know if you guys have any thoughts, or if I'm actually forgetting anything. You know, obviously I know the telescope, I know the carpet. Um, if you can think of anything I am forgetting or any f improvements, uh, please chuck them in. We will try and get this perfect. Or I say perfect, it's never going to be perfect, but hopefully a real good uh, model. I love how this worked. Um, I'm, I don't know why I thought of it, but it, I just did and it happens to have worked pretty well. Uh, the glowstone isn't there for any reason other than I put it there to find the center of the room when I first started. So guys, I hope you're enjoying. Um, the guys, for this, it doesn't matter what pictures you use. I was using it. I was trying to get a big one that would cover it, or a lot of it. And then realized that actually, these pictures would have done alright. Because I <laughs> normally you pull out a picture, it's too big. And then you pull out one, it's too small. But actually, okay, here it didn't work so well. But it actually works pretty well. And it gives it the look of a HQ computer, or as much as you're going to get in uh, Minecraft. So I'm pretty happy with this. Obviously, if you guys go with it, that's up to you. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it.
so guys I'm just trying to even up the room now so it looks clean and uh, you know it just looks a bit nicer on the eye Sorry about the jump here uh, guys, um, I've actually gone down a level into the the roof of the second part. Um, the only reason I've cut it and started there is just purely ended up jumping into the room and mine was working overtime. So yeah, picking it up from here, I'm uh, just doing a set of stairs up here. Now your dimensions might be a little different to mine because I did say I was going to extend my blue room out a bit. Um, how I ended up doing it was actually just making sure all the edges were two blocks away um, from the edge of the light blue. Um, if you haven't, this will still work for you um, because it has no impact. Um, where my blue line is there is where your, if you're doing it, that will be where your perimeter is or around there. Like I say, I wanted to make these uh, rooms usable, um, or the building more usable. So, I know it's a bit different and you don't see this room within the Paw Patrol, but it's a massive tower and it felt like a massive waste of space to not put anything in it. Um, so, I thought make an extra room here, or a couple of extra rooms, decorate them as you wish. Um, Obviously, in my mind, to keep them colourful. Um, but yeah, this was the way I thought to do it, really. Um, this is not essential to the build, really, if you're a massive fan. I've tried to keep everything as accurate as possible. But this was just something I thought, you know what? Makes use of the space, makes the building more usable and a bit more fun because you can do more with it then so like I say guys I shaved mine out um, as you can tell on the top layer um, I took it out but obviously you can't take away the blue floor that's there because otherwise you're going to go through down to the ground so you don't want to do that um, there's no real pat uh, pattern plan to this because there is no room within the Paw Patrol or if there is I didn't know about it um, so I've just basically grabbed a few colours come round in a few circles filling them in and basically my plan is just to make it a colourful room 
um, I'll put some furniture in it and make it just look pretty much like a lounge for when they're not fighting crime or saving people I suppose <laughs> fighting crime <laughs> well just when they take their breaks because <laughs> obviously we can't include the dog baskets down in the lobby so uh, it's an idea for up here These colours will also create obviously the ceiling of the floor down below but obviously you can put your own in then uh, over the top because it is a massive space. Um, I wouldn't go over the glowstones personally because I tried to keep that look for the elevator um, going up. Now guys, my personal preference, I'm not sure if you'll want to keep four blocks around the fireman pole um, because it does branch out uh, so obviously you can't look down and see a pole going all the way but for me I just wanted it to go all the way down so when you're looking around you see the pole all the way so you know it's personal preference got to do what you want really I tried it without the blocks in and I just thought well that's actually I'll just end up disappearing down the hole every now and then, so <laughs> I thought, you know, chuck them in anyway. But uh, obviously, you've got to do what you feel is right for you. Now guys, I'm just trying to keep it colourful, it's, uh, you know, Kid show. If you've got any better ideas, chuck them in. Um, I was just trying to do my own thing with it. You know, you can't help but do it when you chuck as much time into a building. I actually think it's turned out pretty well, actually. Um, we've still got to do the garage, I'm not sure if uh, I've got to do some research on whether there's rooms in the garage. Um, so, depending on how big that is, depends on whether this could end up becoming a bedroom for the main character, I don't know, or just keep it as a lounge. Obviously we still need to get the slide coming through here, uh, because it's got to come around in here first or at least across in here and then come out the side of the building just out of the blue which shouldn't be too much of a problem um, how are we going to do it yet? I really don't want to tell you um, I've chucked out some ideas but until it actually happens um, your guess is pretty much as good as mine so I've pretty much doing this, thinking it through and uh, going from there really Now guys in here I do shave away the top and the reason being is because your top comes out further than this so you can go up to where the, the blocks are, uh, the glass blocks are um, so you can match your ceiling with this um, I know we've still got to do the ceiling um, and the telescope for upstairs um, we'll tackle that tomorrow uh, I'll do that just as I do the slide to be honest, I actually totally forgot about it. Um, I don't know. 
but yeah, I'm actually uh, quite impressed. It's come along pretty well. Um, done better with it. It's turned out pretty good. Uh, I hope you guys are just as happy with it as I am. Like I say, guys, I'm shaving it away. Um, up to the edge. Mainly so I could put the glowstones around um, where I've put the poles going up. I can put them all the way up to the ceiling. Creates a bit of light for the windows. Makes it look better from the outside as well. Was toying with the idea of where I've put the computer in the, the screen. Um, putting behind it a load of like, beacons or glowstones uh, to give it like a lighthouse feel um, but then I think you're sort of really jumping the gun and taking one show putting it into another but, uh, I don't know, it's just an idea hey guys, I shall leave you to it I hope you're as impressed with it as I am um, apart from that I shall uh, see you tomorrow with our next part. Um, I'll also upload the next part of the plane. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Um, hope you enjoyed the video.